Hello everyone, this is Lottie again with Crocheting 101, Lesson 1, in, in our single crochet stitch square fabric. And this is our lovely fabric that we started to make last time we met. And this time I wanted to go over the basics of learning how to understand a crochet pattern. So basically the instructions. And for this project that we did, I'm going to go over just the basics of it. So in to get started, we started off doing a chain of 20. When you see in a pattern, the, they abbreviate everything because there's a lot of steps, right? So in this case, you would see a CH20. That's what that means. Okay, so chain 20. And that's going to be your snake, right? And then the second step is, or your second row is, a single crochet times 20. Now, in a normal uh, pattern, you're not going to see usually the whole word written out. You're just going to be seeing single crochet, right? So you're going to see S, C. So row two, you're going to single crochet times 20. And then when you're done, you're going to chain one, remember CH, chain one, and turn your work. This number right here, you're going to see parentheses around or a circle uh, or brackets or something. That indicates for this row how many stitches you're going to have. Because in some patterns and some projects, they're going to either be more or less. Uh, in this particular pattern. It's very basic and very simple. So all you're going to have is 20 stitches. But how to read a pattern is you'll see this number often. And this is how many stitches you're supposed to have in that particular row. And a lot of times at the beginning, instead of dots, you're going to be seeing this. R1, R2, R3, R4, etc. R standing for row. Or if you're doing a circle, it'd be a round. So row one or round one. Regardless, it's kind of like reading a book. It's your next sentence of sorts. So in this case, we chain 20. Then we single crocheted times 20. Then we did chain one, turn your work. And then this is saying SC, which is single crochet, times 20, chain one, and turn. So that means I should have 20 stitches at this point. And the next one is repeat for a total of 20 rows. Sometimes you'll see it written out like that, or you will see R4 through R20. This is going to be making your, your square but this is how you would read it, R4 through R20 of single crochet times 20. And you're just going to repeat that until you're all done. And then at the end, it's going to tell you what to do. Some Sometimes patterns call you to connect other pieces together. Sometimes uh, you need to uh, start another chain to start another piece that's semi-connected, but it all just depends. But in this simple one, um, it's just asking you to finish off your work. And in the previous video, that is basically where we uh, uh, finished our last stitch of our last row and we cut our thread. Remember, we yarned over and pulled that thread all the way through and basically knotted it. And that finishes off your work and keeping it from unraveling. If you don't remember, you can go back to the video at the very end. It'll tell you how to do that. Um, I believe it's around the 14 minute marker. But anyways, that is the basics of reading a pattern for crocheting. Thank you and happy crocheting.